you are probably here from Mom and Dutter Wall's website. Yes, it can be said that we hacked his website, which led to the redirecting of his channel to our bogus one. The reason to do this was neither to defame Mom and Dutter Wall, nor to harm any of his teaching process. We do not have any personal issues with Mom and Dutter Wall. But this attempt was to demonstrate how easy it is to compromise the security of Indian websites. The country which boasts of majority of its graduates being majored in computer science, which is nothing but a joke in today's time as you see how coaching institutes and private colleges scam people in masses. Furthermore, we also got the full database of the registered students with their names, phone numbers, email addresses and cities. 235,055 entries as of 14th August, which is a pretty impressive number in such a short time, but such a shame that they couldn't protect all these students' details. In fact, the entire coaching and private college mafia can be summed up in this image. Furthermore, here's how much money they make from their paid courses. They made this exact amount in three weeks, close to three crore just from students. The curriculum even in topics is absolutely garbage, they don't produce quality engineers at all. Many of these graduates later prepare for UPSC and the rich ones go to abroad because they can't get core engineering jobs in India. The main companies that hire engineers in topics are TCS, Infosys, Google etc. and none of these companies have any engineering offices in India. Infosys and TCS are service-based clerical English-speaking coolie providers. And Google doesn't have engineering branch in India because Indian engineers are just poor in quality. You will get good management, bureaucratic job in Google India though, only if you are an IIT Bombay or May and are top scorer in your course. There are less than 30 such openings in Google India for freshers per year and 99% of them come from top 2 to 3 adsorbs. All those buzzword graduate engineering degrees in cyber security, AI, ML, data science etc. are all scams. These are all research-based areas only highly qualified professionals in software engineering field with at least 10 years of experience can work in. There are no fresher openings for AI engineers. In fact there is no such thing as AI engineer. Such research-based knowledge can't be taught in a coursework-based degree program. The job of an engineer is to solve problems not to get meme degrees. You can become a better software engineer by practicing programming getting a good GitHub profile, having employee recommendations by impressing current software employees working in top companies by impressing them on GitHub. It's actually very hard to get permanent software engineering job in USA from India. All these promises and fake aspirations sold by your coaching institutes don't matter. The average student is the bank for them, while the few selected ones are used and exhausted to the most extent to produce results. But, the core problem lies in the mentality of Indian parents. Every second G aspirant wants to take up computer science because it is the buzzword of this decade. No one wants to pursue his or her hobbies. In fact, no one even has real hobbies nowadays. You reach 10th class, when the engineering meme is sold to you by your parents, teachers and friends alike. It's like the supposed course of life is set already for an average Indian student who takes up non-medical. This is saddening to see, we all are the victims of this system where the elites prosper at the cost of the mental plus physical health of Indian teenage students. To the point, that some students get so fed up that they decide to end their lives. This system cannot be changed by one person, or a small group of people. It can only be changed by the collective effort of all students, and a shift in ideology to a better one. Or the situation will remain grave. This cannot last long.